lubos na pinagpala ang mga bayan sa paligid ng Genesaret dahil sa mga himala at pagpapagaling na nasaksihan nila kay Jesus. Gayunpaman, hindi ito sapat upang sila'y magbalik loob at sumampalataya. Hindi pa sila handa tanggapin ang katotohanan dumating na ang Mesiyas at kaharian ng Diyos sa kanilang piling. Ito ang dahilan ng pagkadismaya ni Kristo sa mga nasabing lungsod na kanyang dinalaw. Kuna ng simbahan, Jesus had sown abundant seed and precious favors, but little of it had borne fruit. Incredible signs had been multiplied, but the people were not moved to penance. Without conversion and life of sacrifice, it would be unlikely to recognize Christ in our midst. Mahalagang aral ng Ebanghelyo ang malugod na pagtanggap sa Diyos sa ating buhay. Matapos matunghayan ang kanyang kapangyarihan, sa ating piling. Tagdag ng Iglesia, we hear in today's gospel how Jesus presents the truth of how serious and deadly it is to reject God despite all that the townspeople saw and experienced. They still refused to accept Jesus and His message. He tells them that the consequences for refusing to listen will be severe, even more severe for them than for others who had not been exposed to the Word. Kailangan tayong matutong makinig sa Diyos upang hindi mapahama. Babala ng simbahan, Jesus is teaching a hard truth that we must all face. A deliberate turning away from God is as serious as it gets. If we reject those who bring Jesus' word to us, we reject Jesus himself. And if we reject Jesus, we reject the Father, the very source of life, and hope of our salvation. Mahalaga kung gayon ang pagpapakumbaba sa harap ng Diyos. Sabi ni San Agustin, There are so many ways to reject God. If you believe what you like in the gospel and reject what you do not like, it is not the gospel you believe in but yourself. Malinaw ang babala ni Propeta Baruch sa unang pagbasa na kung hindi natin pahalagahan ang boses ng Diyos, kung igigiit natin ang ating sariling kagustuhan, ito ay tahasan paglalapastangan sa Ama. Turo ng Iglesia The consequence of sin is death. This is the fundamental warning Jesus gives to the people of Capernaum. Since sin is a rejection of the God of life, it is essentially a choice for death. With sin, we bring death upon ourselves. It is a kind of spiritual suicide. Ngayon pa man, sa diyang napakabait ng Diyos sa atin, hindi niya hanggan na mapahamak ang kanyang mga anak. Kalaoban niya ang kaligtasan ng mga makasalanan. Kaya binibigyan niya ng pagkakataon ang bawat isa na magbago. Ang unang hakbang sa makatuwid ng pagbabalik loob sa Diyos ay nasa mapagpakumbabang pagsuko ng sarili 
at muling pagbabalik, muling pagbibigay ng ating oo sa Kanya. Garantiya ng simbahan. If we confess our sins with sincerity, repenting for all the ways we have rejected God, our repentance opens the floodgates of God's ocean of mercy and forgiveness. With great joy, He restores us to life and gives us hope in His promise of eternal life. Nawa, huwag tayong mag-atubili sa ating tugon sa hamon ng Diyos. Pagsikapan natin buwagin ang lahat ng hadlang sa kalooban ng Panginoon sa pang-araw-araw na buhay at agad ituwid ang mga epekto ng pagpapatigas natin sa Kanya. Sa huli, paalala ng simbahan, God speaks to us even now. Christ continues to pass our way, showering innumerable blessings upon us. To know how to listen to His will and to fulfill it right away is of capital importance in our lives. Nothing is more important. Hence, we need docility and ask the Lord to make us ready to respond. God bless you.